What's up everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to another video. Today we are going to focus on design and I'm sure you've probably seen some of my other uh, design videos in the past. And today's topic for the design video will be Squid Games. Now, I'm sure most of you already heard of the Netflix show Squid Games. Uh, they are not sponsoring this video. I'm just purely doing it because I think it's an interesting uh, kind of design challenge. And uh, what we're going to do today is design a landing page for Squid Games. Now, let me give you a little bit of a background. I'm sure probably most of you uh, did watch the Squid Games or at least heard of it a bunch and probably know everything about it. But for those that don't know without uh, giving away too much of a spoiler, basically it's a game which people can join and win a bunch of money. Now, the way they join the game is by calling a number on a little business card. That's basically the base premise of this project. Now, because we are web developers and we love doing things that are uh, digital, I thought, why not design a landing page for the Squid Games game show uh, where people can actually sign up uh, if they want to participate in the game. So this is what we're going to be focusing on today. What you can see in front of me is a blank Figma file. And I previously, before filming this video, uh, prepared some resources uh, that I have basically found pictures which I thought that might be relevant uh, for the actual topic. And then I photoshopped them a little bit and uh, I made them so they actually work, so we can play around with them. I also found some other images, which hopefully will be helpful in giving this design a little bit more flavor. And then I also found a color palette that I'll be referring to, which are just basically the significant colors of the actual show. So now that we have this blank screen, uh, let's go ahead and actually start designing it. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is maybe play around with the background. So I'm just going to draw a square and you can do that right here. Grab the corner and just stretch it out to the whole uh, rectangle. It's not a square, it's actually a rectangle. And we can go on the fill and I want to select something like a linear gradient. This is what I had in mind when I was kind of uh, planning what I want to do for this. And I assume because we will have to have the a logo in there. Well, we're going to have to have these characters and this kind of theme. Well, I thought obviously because the Squid Games it's quite a it's quite a dark show, as I shall call it. So maybe we should go with dark colors. So I'm just going to go with black on both sides. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this black, as you can see, it already has an opacity automatically given by Figma. But maybe we're going to go with something like this. So we have like this nice layer from like really black to like transparent black. So like the fade is really equal. Okay, so what we're going to do now is drag some of the characters. So let's start with the with the doll. Now, this is uh, quite a significant uh, character in the game that I'm sure you guys have seen, uh, definitely in all the spoilers as well that have happened to be on Facebook and all the other social media sites. And uh, yeah, actually my thought is now that I've dragged it to the side, Maybe it would be cool because she's such a mysterious like uh, object or person, as I shall call it, in the actual show. Maybe we should just reveal half of her face. Um, so yeah, I think that that's kind of going to work quite nicely. What's happening here, I think, is quite nice. Okay, let's take the other character. And as I'm doing this, what I'm thinking is that possibly we could have them like overlap like this to give it that like really nice 3D effect. Um, well, I'll give it dimension, basically. Uh, so I'm going to make this guy smaller because we have this other character as well. Maybe I'm going to make them all face like the left side. So maybe we can flip him horizontally like this. Okay, make the gun show a little bit more. Okay, cool. And now let's go ahead and get this third character. Whoa, that's a big image. Okay, I didn't realize it's that big. So let's just scroll out and zoom him down and drag him up here. And let's adjust him to be the same size as the red guy, kind of. Yeah, that seems to work nicely. Okay, let's flip him around as well horizontally. So we get him all direction and put him on top. So he automatically pops in on top. And let's just make sure that it's like half of the screen is still available. Yeah, this seems to work pretty well. Now I'm thinking that this black background is a little bit too black. Like we need something like behind these people to really like give an accent of what's actually going on. So what I'm thinking, because the whole show follows this uh, triangle, circle and square theme, maybe we can make like a huge square 
like this and let's have a look okay let's uh, let's get rid of the fill and give it a stroke maybe let's give it like 10 okay well that's small but i can kind of get a idea for what i would want let's go with white Let's pick a white color. Okay, yeah, that's that stands out more, much better. But I'm feeling maybe we could give it like a nice glow. So it actually glows in the color. So uh, let's give it a bigger like um, stroke. And yeah, see, that looks quite good, but I'm just going to drag this down a little bit so we don't get that little left bottom corner sticking out. And now let's give it a glow. So I think we can go into the effects and we can do a, a drop shadow and for it to be right center in the middle, we can do the X and the Y as zero. Let's give it a opacity of 100 so it's not transparent. And let's give it a lot of blur, maybe like 30. So we can see a little bit of a black blur, but let's get the color right. So let's jump into Chrome and let's copy, uh, let's use the dark, dark pink. And let's jump back into Figma and paste the color in. Yes, so see? Now, I, I, I feel like that is giving it a little bit more of an effect because it's actually glowing. I might just give a double shadow because it really makes the glow stand out. So maybe we'll keep it that way, actually. I would really like to make this empty space here seem a little bit more movie-like, I guess. And I do have this, this bathroom that's part of the actual show. So I'm just going to drag that in and spread it to the actual size of this uh, of this uh, rectangle here. Let's position it behind our participants and maybe let's drag it to the side. Oh, what if we drag it behind the opacity, the main background? Oh yes, yes, and you can see, oh, that worked so well. I didn't even expect that. That worked so well because now we don't even have that line. We can't even see that line and the other part of it is masked by the rectangle. And then, oh, this is such a nice separation. I am actually so proud of myself right now. <laughs> I didn't think this is going to happen and it just worked so well. I mean, there is this little bit of separation. I guess we could do something to make it a little bit better. No, actually, I, li I like this. I don't think I want to change anything, but I feel like maybe behind this rectangle, rather than this part being black, we could add a bit of like red or maybe the pink. What I'm going to do is create another kind of rectangle here that's just going to hide right there. And I'm going to give it a, 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 a linear fill. And I'm going to take it from that pink color. No, actually, I'm going to take it from a black color to that uh, pink color, like so. And then I'm going to drop it at opacity like that. And then I'm going to drag it behind these three. Yes. And then actually, because we've got that red and this separation is becoming uh, much more obvious, we can drag this black down like so. Oh, yes. Yeah, that is cool. That is, that's worked really well, actually. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Nice. Actually, what if we make it go from black to pink to black? Maybe that would work nicely as well. So let's let's um, let's add another one. Let's drag the pink here and then make this black. Oh, that worked even better. But we have to work on the opacity of this to like really lower it. Okay. Yes, and then it's like full pitch black at the bottom. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks better. That looks even better. Uh, so yeah, I like that. But now this glow is like slightly annoying. Uh, so I think I'm going to get rid of one of these drop shadows. Ah, yes, yes, because now it matches the background. So that's really nice. Okay, fantastic. This is awesome. And I'm thinking this character from the back, maybe we can just make her a little bit bigger to make her like stand out more. Yeah, yeah, that worked better. Okay. Nice, I'm happy about that. So now we can actually move on to designing the logo itself. Uh, and I have downloaded the font, uh, the Squid Game font, uh, of course. Uh, and let's change it to a game. I think it's called Game of Squids. Yeah, that's it. And let's make it like huge, like 120. And let's type something. So where is this text? So uh, Squid. So let's just position this on its own. Somewhere like here. And let's do another text called game. And now we can actually manipulate them uh, together, which will work even better, actually. Maybe we can make them touch. That actually looks quite cool. Let's just align it. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> this looks good. I don't know if it touches originally in the in the actual logo, but this this works nicely for me. So yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's just grab this and this and position it like in the center here. And this is what we are working with. I'm feeling like we need to design some like sign up buttons. Now, obviously this continuing trend of the rectangle circles and squares will be there. And I'm thinking of the three options to be uh, assign away your rights as a checkbox. Uh, then we can have um, an input your name and then we can have uh, like join the game. So those kind of three uh, different uh, phrases that we can use. So for the checkbox, I'm going to go with that rectangle and I'm going to draw it here. Let's make it maybe like 40 in size, or let's make it 50, let's make it a little bit bigger. And then rather than giving it a fill, I'm going to give it a stroke. And uh, I'm going to go with maybe that uh, like green color here, maybe the lighter one. Uh, seems like it might work well with the, with the background being that color, weirdly, uh, which works really awesome. Let's give it like five, maybe let's give it six to make it a bit bigger. Now we can remove the background. And yes, I like that a lot. Okay, so this is the rectangle. Now let's work on the circle. Get rid of the fill and give it a stroke. And there we go, now we have the circle. And now let's make the triangle. Let's give it that, uh, that stroke of six and change the color to that green. Uh, and now we can remove the background. And that seems to work quite well as per the sizing. Okay, cool. So now let's add the text. We definitely have to change the size of that for it to be a little bit smaller. What about 30? So game, uh, we can make it a bit bigger. 35, uh, sign away your, let's type all capitals because I know the letters will be similar. Sign away your rights. Like so, I can just space them away with, uh, with uh, the actual space bar. Uh, then we can do enter your name and then we can do join the game. Ooh, spooky, spooky stuff. Okay, so right, here we can put it like this and then now I can align the actual um, shapes to these uh, pieces of text, which makes it a little bit easier. Although that does look off to me a little bit, so I'm just going to move it up just so it visually looks a little bit better. Now I'm going to grab all of these. Let's position it somewhere in the center. Similar distance from the top and the bottom. That looks about right. We will essentially need like an input box. So let's, let's draw one. So let's click on rectangle and let's draw a shape of some size. Make it fully black, but possibly like transparent. Yeah, and then if we put the text on top, it's gonna look good. Now maybe to make it better, we can stretch it to the actual size of this other text. Uh, and let's jump this on top. But here, obviously we don't have that padding, so we can just do a padding by just entering a space for the principles of this design. And let's just do the same thing here. I think the, the distance between the icons should be a little bit bigger and just move them to the side a bit. And I think the joining the game, that needs to stand out because that is us actually joining the game. So how about we make it, maybe the, the color of uh, this. Yes, oh, that made it stand out quite nicely, actually. I uh, know I do like that. And maybe we can just drop the opacity a little bit just so it like pops through. But that is, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, now for the final finishing parts. Uh, in the original logo, these are filled in, like the circle, the triangle, and the square, those letters are filled in. So I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do it with the pink color because we have already used a lot of green here, so just for that contrast. And we can just draw it on top uh, and align it. And then uh, let's pick this pink and we can just drag this ellipse behind the, behind the squid games, like so. Nice, okay. Now let's do the uh, polygon, so the triangle, align it perfectly as my OCD needs to know that I have done it right. Nice. Okay, let's give it that fill of the pink and let's drop it behind the Squid Games. Yes. And now the rectangle, let's uh, make sure to move it exactly pixel perfect. Oh no, it's not pixel perfect. Well, I need to drag it out, but oh no. Oh no, my, <laughs> oh no. Why? Oh, it's just the font. It's just the font. Oh no, my OCD is not letting me uh, letting me like this a lot. But I guess we have to leave it that way. I guess you won't be able to see it. 
uh, when I zoom out. So let's just drop it behind. And that is it. Oh yeah, it looks good. See, it added that really nice bit of contrast. How do you guys like it? I thought we came up with something that looks pretty good, to be honest. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little design tutorial that we did. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you smash those thumbs up button as they really help my channel grow. Uh, and subscribe if you want to see more because there will be a lot of challenges and tutorials uh, coming up on my uh, channel. So you can get to enjoy those by subscribing. And if you don't, you can always just really easily unsubscribe. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.